Hi everybody, welcome back to the amazing Stalker 2 and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to install and start to use the uh, UE Tools mod by Cranch specifically to spawn items in and where you can get the commands and the class names to spawn items in as well. So if you weren't aware of it, in Stalker and lots of games, single player games especially, you have something called the console which isn't anything to do with Xbox or PlayStation, and unfortunately at the moment this doesn't work on those. But if you press a key, so for example in this case, once you've installed the mod, it's F10, or the button that's above your left tab key, often they refer to it as the tilde key, but on UK keyboard it's not, it's a different shape. And then you press that button again, you bring up the console, and this is where we can type things in and give the game engines direct requests and commands to do stuff very very powerful indeed generally um, you can access these on single player games where the developer allows you um, it's frowned upon in multiplayer games because obviously this is cheating <laughs> sporting stuff in and teleporting around and uh, enabling god mode is kind of in multiplayer would be cheating isn't it but in a single player mode I guess you could say it's cheating but it's single player isn't it you're not up against anybody else you're just changing things for, it for yourself if anything you're cheating yourself out of an experience but there may well be situations in a game where you need to do stuff also I must say that when you start messing around with um, the uh, the console and and this mod and mods in general there's always a chance that you'll break your save and break the game in one of two ways you may well corrupt your save so that it just doesn't work anymore or what is more likely you can corrupt your save in ways that you won't be aware of say you spawn something in that you don't have shouldn't have access to until later in the game or you access a place that you shouldn't be able to get to because of a mod um, that can then make it so that you can't progress in <coughs> the game so you always must do this on a separate save um, anyway okay so let's first off let's look at installing uh, the mod first because the, the mods at the moment on PC are really easy to install anyway so I'll put a link in the description but below this video to UE tools on Nexus mods and we're doing everything manually at the moment uh, I will be doing a video soon on how to get Stalker 2 working with Nexus mods but they're so easy to install these mods that it doesn't really particularly matter, matter. so what you want to do is have a really good read on the description page of everything to sort of start to get yourself familiar with with how the mod works don't expect to understand everything straight away but at least become familiar with it and then you want to click on the um, post section and you always want to have a look at that and just have a read if there's any issues that have come up in this case there's some really useful resources as well that um, we can use to get things like the commands um, and when you're familiar with that again just do the manual download and you're going to download it to your computer See if we can get this to work. So it will download to here. Um, there is UE Tools. And then what you want to do is you want to copy it out of there. And I recommend that you create a, if we do a stalker modding, a stalker modding, create a folder called stalker modding on your computer. And then as you download and use different mods, create a, a folder for that. <coughs> so for example, I've created a folder called Unreal Engine Tools. And then I paste the zipped up file of UE tools into here. And then I extract it, right click extract here, or use 7-zip to do it. And that way you can see what's involved in the mod and what files you get before you copy them to the game files. Because once you've copied them to where the game files are, um, files can get mixed up and you're not quite sure what's what. Um, and especially when it comes to removing them as well, because maybe there's a clash um, or the game's crashing or something, um, you won't you won't know what files go with what, but by keeping it separate to start off with, you can go through. Now, the, f the files that we're interested in are in here. So if you're going to Stalker 2, Content, Packs, and Mods, there's the files. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy those, and then we're going to go to where our Stalker Heart of Chernobyl is installed on our computer. So on my um, PC, it's on my E drive, um, and it's in Xbox games Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl you go to content Stalker 2 content packs mods now if you haven't got a, a squiggle or a tilde mods folder make one so do right click new folder and put the tilde and then mods and then you paste them in there as you can see I've already already got them in there 
Um, and that's the working bit of the mod. However, if we go back to the folder, there's a couple of things we want to look at. So we want to look at the readmes. So the readme goes through the install instructions as well, and it has some it, uh, good information at the bottom for changing things like key bindings. But also it has a list of all the possible commands that you can use uh, within uh, this, this mod. And there's lots of <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. I will be doing separate videos on all of these things in order to um, in order for us to understand kind of how they work. So this, although this one's about spawning it items in, I'll do one on um, free ca free fly mode or free cam mode and teleporting as well. But I want to do them separately because there's quite a lot involved in this sort of stuff. So anyway, so they're all there. However, in the description below this video, you're going to see um, another couple of links as well. One to this page as well, which are console commands for Stalker 2 on Steam. But this is the really, really useful one. This is on GamerGuides.com. Um, and it's a great database that not only gives you the class names for items, but also gives you the code you need to paste into the console to bring them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in Stalker, uh, my copy of Stalker, we're going to spawn in a vector gun. All right. So as you can see, if we go to, go to Stalker now, so if I go into my inventory, you can see I've got the Dragonov or the Lynx. I've got the nice shotgun. I've got the uh, Viper 5. Now I am running the mod that makes things lighter. So that's why I can carry all this stuff. But I fancy having to go with the Vector. So what we can do is if we go over to this website and we go on to Weapons, wherever it is, like this. And there's pictures of them all because they don't have the names you know, of the... Um, the, of the real names of stuff today. So let's go down. Where's the vector? Let's find it. There it is. They call it the integral A. So we click on that. So there it is. And there's the spawn command. So we can double click on that. So we copy that. Go back to the game. Press F to... Oh, can't... Let's um, get out of the inventory. F10, F10. And then I can do Control V. And that will spawn that in. Now press Escape. Press I to go back in the inventory. And there it is. I've got the vector now. Um, in fact, I tell you what. Let's try and do it without coming out of the inventory. But we don't just want the vector. And what makes this website really powerful is that it tells you the compatible ammunition and mods for it as well. So we can say, actually, how about we want that scope? So we can click on that scope. And again, it gives us the spawn command. So we can just copy that, go back to Stalker, F10, F10, spawn it in, come out of that, and with a bit of luck, okay, maybe we have to come out of our inventory, it might not let us do it when we're in, oh right, there, there it is, okay, so if we equip that, we can now attach that to that, and then we've got the scope on, how cool is this? So now we could go, okay, so we go back to the integral A, and we go high capacity magazine. So let's copy that. Let's go back to Stalker. Uh, we might as well come out of this. F10, F10, Control V, spawn that in. And then what else is there? Uh, hol uh, pistol silencer. Let's copy that. Back to Stalker. Uh, control V to paste it in. And then I think that's all the attachments. So we got the magazine, we got the that special scope, we got the science, and now we need some ma some um, some ammo. So let's get a box of ammo. Copy. Back to Stalker, Control V, let's do it, two boxes. So now what we can do, press Control I. So we've got all these extra bits now, so we can attach to the integral A, attach to the integral A, and what was it, it's 45, isn't it? All oh, right, so we've got loads of that ammo. Oh, is it, what does it take? Oh, he's using 9 by 19, okay. So there's 9 by 19, so now, if we, 
zip down here. Come out here. Hey. There we go. We've, got, we've now got this <laughs> amazing submachine gun. But remember, with great power become, comes great responsibility. So just because you've got access to all this stuff and you can use it and spawn stuff in, you've got to be careful. You know, you have to be careful. I would even consider thinking about not using this sort of stuff until your second playthrough. Wait until you finish the game because the chances are you may well... Um, corrupt your save or do something that means that you at some point you can't uh, progress with the game the other thing I would also save say is that you shouldn't have this mod installed all of the time so if you want to use it to go somewhere or um, or um, spawn in some stuff um, or use it to go through a door that won't open or something like that copy the mod bits to your mods folder in stalker and then copy them out again or cut them out again or delete them um, afterwards and then reload into the game because anything to do with modding where you're adding this stuff to a game is going to increase the chances of crashes hard crashes um, and just general instability as well so there we go so a massive thanks has to go out to crafty is his name crafty crunch sorry um, for making this uh, mod and I know he thanks some other people as well um, sort of standing on the shoulders of giants um, and that's my first video about this. As I say, I will do a series of videos about UE tools as we go into sort of the different things of, uh, of free camming and flying, all that sort of stuff. Um, but also, actually, I should put a big thank out to Gamer Guide because this is amazing. You know, you can spawn in. The fact that it gives you the codes just makes it so easy <laughs> to spawn all this stuff in. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. All the links are in the description below this video. Stalker 2, what an amazing game. And uh, hopefully this sort of thing will be coming to console again soon. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.